Hi everybody, Brian Seymour, Director of Instructional Technology for Pickerington Local School District here. So today I'm kind of excited. Um, we built some things through Google to help with uh, walkthrough and teacher evaluations. And um, I'm actually happy to say that it actually worked on the first try. So um, today on Seymour Educate Podcast, we're going to walk you through the process of how to get your data from the spreadsheet that you entered into a document that you can actually pin into ETPES and actually email out to the teachers. So today we're going to talk about a program called Autocrat. All right, so you all know that starting out, you're going to do all your walkthroughs through a Google form. So on that Google form has all of the parameters that's been agreed upon and so on. Those are all entered in there. Your results then come out to a spreadsheet. And we're going to take a look at uh, Lakeview Junior High. They're the first school that's got some data in here. Uh, so inside of each one of your folders, now you all should have your building folder, okay? So it should be shared to you, it's shared to the principals. Uh, the principals have edit access, so if you go back and fix something, you can fix it. Um, so basically, you're going to look for your school, and then it says your school um, hyphen walkthrough. So type that in, you should find it, it was sent from me uh, probably about a, a couple weeks or so ago. Okay, so we're going to open up the Lakeview one, and inside of all of them, you're going to have the same thing. This is your walkthrough form. This is the form that we created. This is where your data is at, and this is the template for what the teachers are going to get and what you're going to be able to put into ETPES. Okay, really, the only thing that you need to worry about is this one that's right here in my middle, and this is the spreadsheet. So if we open up the spreadsheet, you'll start to see all of the information and everything and if you want to see more you will just scroll off to the right okay now i've blurred this a little bit just because i don't want the data being out there but you understand what's here so we have two rows here okay of all of this data now what we're going to do is we are ready to go ahead and edit this and put it into a document now here's the other thing i want to tell you if you and your assistant principal or assistant principals they all have the same form so if I'm at the high school, I've got five principals that are all feeding in here at the same time. Okay, So all of the data will show up at the same point. And that's perfectly fine. What I would do is I would um, have somebody um, des designated at the end of the week to do this process that we're going to talk about right now. Okay, So the process that we're going to do right now is we're going to take the data from this spreadsheet and put it on one of these forms right here which looks like this, okay? And then this, you can then send off to your teachers and off to ETPES, and it looks really nice and neat. So you'll notice all these places where it says teacher first name, teacher last name, building name, those will all get filled in by this automated, aut automated program that we're gonna do right now, and that's called Autocrat, okay? So we're gonna go back to this spreadsheet. Close that one out. Okay. And what you're going to need to do the very first time you do this is you're going to need to go up here to add-ons and you're going to need to go to get add-ons. Okay. And you'll come over here and you'll type in autocrat. A U T O dash C R A T. Autocrat. Click on it, it'll ask you do you want to install it? Yes, you want to install it. Okay, so then once you install that, and I've already done that, you'll come up here and it'll be under add-ons. Okay, so Autocrat launch. It'll it'll pop up a box over here in a second. And now what we have to do is we have to do a new merge job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge this document with that other document that I showed you that's going to have all the individual information on it. So you're going to hit new merge job. And it's going to say, okay, it's loading it. The template is in drive. And the template is in that folder that you had before. So what we have to do is we have to find the folder that says Lakeview 
junior high. So here it is right here. So you would find whatever school it is that you're doing. I'm pretending that I'm doing Lakeview. So find it here. And here is the document. It's going to be a Google Doc, so it's going to be blue. And it should say walk through uh, documentation with your school name on it. Okay. So I'm going to click on here. That's my template. It will then be able to merge these two pieces together. Okay. But we have to do a couple little things, first of all. So it'll load the template in here. And what it's doing is it's looking for all the different fields that it has to fill in. Okay. So we want to come up with a name of a merged job. So I'm just going to call this Lakeview. And I'm going to call it PDFs because we're going to create these in PDFs. So set. And then here's now all of the forms or all of the fields that it's going to pull data from the spreadsheet and put it onto the other sheet. All of these should be set fine. So all I need you to do is just scroll down through and make sure there's something written over here on the right hand side. That's all you got to do. Everything should be set. Hit save. Now this is where you're going to name it at. And naming it is very important because if you want to find these later on without searching through each one. So here's what I'm going to say that you do. Okay. So the first one is date. Okay. I would strongly urge that you do this. So you're going to highlight it. Go up here to copy. Pull back down to here and hit paste because you want the date in there. Okay. Um, actually, strike that. Instead of date, you want timestamp. Or no, yeah, timestamp. My apologies. Because what timestamp will do is it'll actually give you when the actual um, walkthrough was done. Date will give you today's date. So hit a space. And then you probably want the teacher's last name. So copy this. Paste it in there. Hit a space. And then you probably want the teacher's first name. Okay. Copy. Paste. So now what this will do is when it creates a document, it will put the timestamp of when it is, so when the walkthrough actually happened, the teacher's last name, and the teacher's first name. So you can search and find these things really quickly. Okay. Now, select the type you want. You want to change this to PDF because that's what you need to put into ETPES and that's easier to send uh, to, to, the, to the email. Okay, So change this to PDF, hit save. It'll save all of the settings. And now you've got your merged document here ready to go. So the last button that you have to push is run merge. Okay. You'll hit run merge. Now what it's doing is it's taking all of the data from the spreadsheet. It says it's found the two jobs and putting them together and putting them nicely into PDFs. The more data you have in here, so if you have a hundred of these that you've done in the matter of the week, um, it's going to take a lot longer for this to run. So it may be one of those things you just let it run. You go out, do some, you know, out in the building type stuff, come back, it'll, it'll be done for you. Okay. So as you can see, this is only two of them. It does take probably about a minute or so, uh, 30 seconds per, per document. Just depends on how many you have. So we're done now. All jobs are completed. Two jobs are merged. So we hit OK. Now, we're done with this. And what we can do is we can go back here to our folder. So this is our folder that had those three documents in it. And now we've got this new folder up here that says Lakeview PDFs. Okay. So if we double click on this, we now have a PDF for each one of those teachers that we just did information on. So here's one for Frost and here's one for Kachu. Okay. So all we have to do now is we would go in and we would click on this. And now as you can see, there's the walkthrough documentation, Nathan Frost, Lakeview Junior High. It's all nice, crystal clear for you and you can scroll down through and start to see all of the pieces and parts. Okay. So if you want to download a copy of this, which you'll obviously need to do, okay, you would then go to just like you would do any other document. So click on here, click on the three dots, click on download. 
That'll then download a copy of it to wherever it is that you got your downloads at. So I'll go show in Finder. There's all my downloads. We'll move this over here to the desktop. And now I've got a PDF copy of this evaluation. So now I can take and put that into my ETPES or put that into um, my, uh, or email that to the teacher. Okay, so what you'll need to do is you'll just basically need to run through that process once a week or however often you want to send data to your teachers. The nice thing is, once you have this set up, all you have to do is hit run merge the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth time, whatever. You don't have to go through all of those processes again. You just hit Lakeview PDFs, make sure that's highlighted like it is, and hit run merge. Okay. Now, I'd like to come around to each one of the buildings and show you exactly how to do this and make sure that you understand. So once you start to get data in your system, please let me know um, because then I'll come out and walk you through the data. Now, it's very important that this is as accurate as possible for numerous reasons. Obviously, this is uh, verging on the teacher's um, um, evaluations. This is also dealing uh, with district data as well. We are actually taking all of this data and merging it together into district data so that we can see how the district as a whole is, is, is doing as well. Okay. So once again, thank you for watching. I hope this makes sense to you. If it doesn't, rewind and go back and listen to it again. And uh, I'll be out in all of your buildings to be able to help you out to do this. So thank you all very much for, uh, for watching. And uh, remember, go forth and be innovative. <laughs>